guys what's up welcome back so in today's video we're gonna be doing a demo on the new Too Faced peach perfect setting powder which is in the shade caramelized peach first off let me know if you say caramelized or caramelized I know a lot of us say it differently but I just wanted to kind of throw it out there that's how I say caramel so I'm gonna be saying it caramelized but yes you guys y'all already know well most of you already know if you guys watch my channel if you guys watch my videos where I'm talking about setting powders, one of my favorite ones is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I ended up buying it the day that it launched and today I got the PR box at my door. So they sent over both of the powders, um, so the original one and then the new shade and they also sent over three of their Comfort Matte Foundations. Now, I'll go ahead and let you guys know now, the Comfort Matte Foundation is not one of my favorites. I used to use the shade Mahogany before they came out with new shades, so they did send over that shade. They also sent over the new shade, which is Chai. So this is the shade I am in, in the um, Born This Way Foundation. So this is the one that we're gonna be using today. And they also have the new shade in the shade Spice Rum. So I'm gonna be swatching Spice Rum and Chai in today's video. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give this one away. So if you guys are in the shade Mahogany, let me know and I will be more than happy to send this to you. But yes, I will show you guys how these look. We're gonna be doing um, a side-by-side -side comparison of the new powders. So I have the, um, the new shade on my face as well as the original one. So I'm not gonna tell you guys which side is which, but I want you guys to see how they look side by side. And just so that way you can, you know, see if you want to spend the money on the new shade or if you're satisfied with the original one. And I'm also gonna be um, comparing the new shade to the Born This Way Medium Translucent Powder. So this one is also more of a deeper shade, just like the new shade in the Peach Perfect Setting Powder. But Yes, we're going to be doing all of that in today's video. I'm also going to show you guys how I created this whole look. I dug out a lot of products in my collection that are Too Faced. So that way we can use a lot of Too Faced products in today's video. So if you guys are interested in seeing me apply the new shade in the Comfort Matte Foundation as well as the new shade in the Peach Perfect Setting Powder, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the first thing I want to do is actually swatch the foundation on my face really, really quick. I want to do the Born This Way and um, compare it to the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte just because I want to see if the shades are the same. So I am in the shade Chai in the Born This Way. This is pretty much like my skin, but better. So let's go ahead and put it on the skin. Well, the face really quick so y'all can see um, what it looks like. So this is Chai in the Born This Way foundation. And I think I put on too much, but it's okay. And let's see what the Comfort Matte Foundation looks like. Squirt out a little bit. Oh, there's the Comfort Matte Foundation. Okay, so Born This Way looks a little, it looks darker than the Comfort Matte. Do you guys see, like, let me know if you can see it, but I feel like the Comfort Matte Foundation is a little bit lighter than Born This Way. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and swatch Spice Rum so y'all can see what this one looks like on my skin. Oh yeah, this one is definitely darker. I didn't pump out too much, but you guys can see it right there, Spiced Rum. Now let's go ahead and take this off and go on with the other makeup. All right, so for the primer, I'm taking the Too Faced Hangover Primer, one of my favorite primers of all primers, and just prime the skin. I never really have to use a moisturizer with this because it's pretty much like a primer and a moisturizer, so yeah. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm gonna take my Revlon Color Stay Brow Definer or Brow Creator in the shade dark brown and do the brows and I'll be right back. All right, the brows are done. Now we can go ahead and pump out the foundation on the face. Okay, I may have put too much. I don't know, let's go ahead and blend it out. I have a feeling the color um, is gonna be pretty good, which it definitely is. Okay, okay, so this, mmm, yeah. Way better than Mahogany, which was way too orange. This is perfect. Okay, yes. Girl, Too Faced is definitely 
getting some points today. Like, yes. One thing about this foundation, um, it may look pretty dewy on the skin, but once it dries down, it kind of starts looking matte. But as you can see, it does give me that nice natural glow, but it does dry down to a matte finish. So this is just one layer of foundation and it gives me a nice coverage. I mean, I've used this already in the past. I already know how it wears, but you know, some of you are just now um, trying it out, I'm pretty sure. And of course, wanted to see what the color is looking like. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but it's starting to dry down matte. Um, so especially in this area, I can see that it's starting to dry down a little bit on the skin. But I think I'm gonna go in with one more layer, just a little bit though, not gonna be too much because I don't want my face to look too, you know, too done up, but just one more little bitty layer just to give me that extra, extra, extra coverage. You don't have to go in with a second layer, but I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. I really just wanna have a full beat today. So I'm just gonna pat in a little bit more. This foundation does have a scent. If you don't like products that smell, um, you may not like this. It smells like peaches and it's just a really sweet scent. So if your skin doesn't do well with products that have you know, fruity scents or anything like that, you may not like the foundation. Now, I have not broken out or anything from this foundation, so it's fine on me, but I can't really speak for everyone else. But this is what the second layer looks like. Definitely gave me more of a coverage. You guys see that once I first apply it, you know, it's shiny and then it starts to dry down to a matte finish. But now let's go ahead and apply some concealer. I'm gonna use the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Chestnut. This is gonna be my under eye highlight shade. I use this, wait, did I pull the right shade out? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is just gonna be my under eye um, highlight conceal. You don't have to use much of this because this, you know, a little bit goes a very long way. I actually want to show you guys um, the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This one is the medium translucent, but this is them side by side. So we have Born This Way right here. And then we have Peach Perfect right here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's um, Born This Way and then Peach Perfect. I'll swatch Born This Way right here so y'all can see. It's gonna be hard to swatch these, but I really want you guys to see how they look. All right, Born This Way and then Peach Perfect. Yeah, Peach Perfect is, ooh, this one's pretty orange, but the top is born this way, and then the bottom is peach perfect. It looks pretty orange. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but let me try it out and see what it looks like on my face. So I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk sponge, dip it in peach perfect, and go ahead and set the face. Okay, the color. It's not something that I usually use to set my concealer, but it's not, you know, it's not bad. I wanna see how it looks once I finish up. It's gonna be hard. It's, all, it's always hard to do one side of my forehead, one side of my chin when I'm baking or setting my concealer. Pretty much it's the same color as my, like once I applied it, it looks like it'll be a good all over face powder, but maybe not so much to use as a under eye setting powder if I wanna brighten up my under eyes. Now I wanna show you guys what the original one looks like side by side. I'm gonna use the same sponge. I'm just gonna flip it over to the side that I didn't use. But um, the original one is more of a pinky peachy color. And this one definitely brightens up my under eyes, you can get, I mean, you can see that, like it definitely brightens up everything. So if you prefer a little bit more of a brighter 
um, under eye than you would like the original one. But if you want something that's more um, subtle and that's just not gonna give you that brightening, you know, that brightening effect, then you may like the new one. So let me know which side you guys like the best. Do you like the original side or do you like the one with the caramelized peach shade, which is the new one. So leave them down below in the comments. But now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. I almost feel like I don't even have to set my entire face because the foundation dries down matte. But I'm gonna take some more of the caramelized peach and dip my La Mer powder brush in it. And I'm just gonna lightly dust this all over the face. I usually don't do this. You guys know I prefer pressed foundation powders than um a loose foundation powder like all over the face but i'm just gonna lightly dust it on the face just to set everything so for bronzer i'm taking this prime beauty bronze bronzer in the shade bronzeville so they sent this over for me to try out they also sent a darker shade which i could use as a contour shade but i thought this one would be really nice as my bronzer so this brand is new to me i have never tried them out let me find a brush this is looking mm. Ooh. okay i am here for this bronzer like all the way here front row and center girl like this is what we needed in our lives this is pretty. I'm gonna go in with the blush and the highlighter last and also the lips last. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really quick, simple eye look. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Just Peachy Max palette. And y'all know I love like one color, like a one color look. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna dip into, what shade do I want? I'm always doing like dark, plum looks so i need to try to steer away from that because i feel like that's always on my eyes so i'm gonna go into this peachy color right here at the bottom this is in the shade peach cobbler and i'm just gonna um pack this all over my lid i'm using the farah brush this is one that i got out of an ipsy bag i'm always using this brush because it is so good it's big, it's fluffy, it's the perfect brush to just pack on color all over your lid and then just kind of blend it up into the crease up towards the brow bone. So that is what we're doing. We're not gonna do anything special, just pack on this one shade because I don't want the focus to be on an eye look. I really wanted the focus to be on the um, foundation and the powder for today's video. But just pack this all over the lid, girl, and then just blend it in. If you don't know what look to go for, just use one shade out of a palette or just one shade, like if you have like a single shadow, just use that, pack it on the lid, dust it, pack it, blend it, and you're good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes, mascara, my eyeliner and then i'll be right back all right guys so i finally got my lashes on i went ahead and popped on the ardell remy lashes in the style 778 so they have several different numbers for the remy lashes but these are um i think they're 778 or 776 no they're 778 for sure so yeah went ahead and popped those on and i'm gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my tear duct which i always do I'm gonna take the Too Faced highlighter in the shade Canary Diamond and just put a little bit of this on the tear ducts, like the inner corner of the eyes. Not tear ducts, but y'all know what I mean. And for the blush, since I don't have any in front of me, I thought I grabbed a blush. I'm just gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna dip it right here in the top, these top two shades right here because the brush is pretty big, but just kind of focus it right there and use it as a blush because i mean why not and i'm using the same highlighter that we use for the inner corner i'm going to use that as my highlight for the face
So before we go in with my lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the um, Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. This foundation can feel a little drying on my skin. That's one of the things that I don't like about it is, um, especially using it with the Peach Perfect setting powder, it kind of feels um, a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen my face just a little bit. So for lips, we are going to be using a Too Faced lipstick in the shade Nip Slip. This is from the Natural Nudes collection. Um, this is Nip Slip swatched right there. And I'm going to use a brown liner for my lip liner. This is in the shade Espresso and is by LA Girl. All right, you guys, so this is what it all looks like after I finished up the face. Let me know if you guys can see a difference. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm also looking in the viewfinder and honestly and truly, I don't see a difference with the powder. Like now that my whole entire face is done, I can't really see which side is which. If I look at it really, really, really closely, I can definitely see that this side is a little bit more lighter than this side. Now, if you're into those powders that um, are going to brighten up your skin, then I would say stick to the original Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Setting Powder. Now, if you've never tried out this powder, um, I will say that this is a matte setting powder. So if you're not into matte setting powders, you may not like this. This does keep me matte all day long. I do have an oily T-zone and this is what I like to use on those days, if I have a long day and I want something that's gonna keep my T-zone pretty matte and that's gonna keep my concealer in place. So yeah, like I said, if you want something that's going to give you more of a brightening look, then definitely um, stick to the original one or if you've never tried it, definitely get the original one. But if you want something that's gonna give you more of a natural muted look on the skin, then definitely try out the new shade. Or if you just wanna use this as an all over setting powder, then you may like it as that. So yeah, that's the powder. Now let's talk about the foundation. Like I said, this is not one of my favorites. I don't like how it feels drying on my skin. Now I know it may seem different with other people, but with me, I feel like this foundation is definitely a little too drying for my liking. It's one of those foundations that I don't necessarily have to set it with the powder because it does dry down matte. You guys saw that in the video, especially around this area. Um, it started to dry down pretty matte. It does feel pretty matte on the skin, but what I did was I sprayed my face, which you guys saw, just so I can get that extra moisture back into my skin. But it's not one of my favorites. I do like the Too Faced Born This Way hands. So pretty much to compare the Born This Way and the Comfort Matte, I feel like the Born This Way is gonna give you that um, natural, your skin, but better look. Even though the Comfort Matte still kind of gives me that same look, it's just that this one, in my opinion, is a little bit more drying on the skin and it kind of looks a little bit drier on the skin than the Born This Way. So if you have dry skin, I would say try the Born This Way than the, one, um, which, uh, than the Comfort Matte one. But if you have oily skin, then I would definitely say try out the Comfort Matte. But yeah, that is that. I think that is all that I want to share in today's video. All of the other products that I use, I'll be sure to make them, um, we'll link them down below in my description so you guys can check those out. But yeah, I think that is all that I have. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have already picked up the new shade and the powder, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it or let me know if you prefer the original one over the new one. But yeah, oh, and also let me know your thoughts on the Comfort Matte Foundation. Let me know if you like this as well. So yeah, I think that is all that I have. By the way, I am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole entire year. I will be giving away one box to one person every single month. Now that we're in the month of March, I'm super excited to share what is all in this month's box. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a clip right here. So that way you guys can see what you could win. So it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is for one, be subscribed to my channel and thumbs up the videos, as well as leave a comment down below in the comment box. And with the comments, I don't want them to be pertaining to the giveaway. Just comment anything about the video that you just watched or just 
products that you want me to try out or just anything about makeup. I don't want the comments to be about the giveaway. So try not to mention anything about the giveaway down there. So yeah, I think that is all that I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up for me. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.